Hey guys, again it's Wolfman here, and um, today is Tuesday, November 6, 2012, and actually, as you can see, it's almost midnight right now, but the election just got over with, and I think Obama just won again, but I'm not here for that. I'm making this video because I just got this new toy in the mail today, my new Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, which I ordered on Friday, finally came today. And I'm going to unbox it. So, I bought the 32 gigabyte model. It is, um, I believe it's a blue, ta it's actually a deep gray tablet. And you see the box, Wi-Fi, Galaxy 10.1 with the beautiful S Pen. On the side here, you got the model. Made in Korea, not made in China. It's kind of a good thing, I guess. I mean, it's directly from Samsung since Samsung is based in South Korea. So again, Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. You can see the description is on the box here. Quad core processor at 1.4 gigahertz. Has a Samsung Media Hub, even though I'm probably gonna disable that. Five megapixel rear facing camera, which is pretty good for a tablet, even though tablets aren't really supposed to be taking pictures in the first place. So that's probably gonna be more of a novelty since I'm gonna be using this camera more than anything. But the 1.9 megapixel front facing camera is gonna be good for Skype. Has the S Pen, of course, so it's good for drawing stuff and just for taking notes in general. Has a really good battery and also does a full HD playback and HD recording as well. Screen resolution is not as great as the iPad or the Asus Transformer Prime, but it's still good for what it's worth and they had to cut down on the screen resolution. Many people were wondering about this. It has to do with the fact that um, the actual S Pen itself that you use to draw stuff meant that they had to cut the low, uh, resolution down just so that they were able to uh, adapt that into the tablet. So, Wi-Fi certified, Bluetooth, we got Android, DVIX, and uh, DLNA. So, I have not even undone this whole box yet, so we're going to uh, break the seal and go from there. So, why don't we... Uh, Do all this stuff here. Hopefully this will come off, but if it doesn't, then we'll just uh, cut this video and then go from there. All right, there we go. There's one seal. And then we can get the other one here. And there's the other one. And now we can officially unbox this beauty. Ooh, look at how sexy that just pops out at you. Holy shit. Look at that. Quad core processor. All uh, certified and everything. So there's the actual tablet itself. If you want to compare it to my um, other Galaxy Tab, which is a 7-inch version. Obviously, tell this is a much bigger uh, tablet, obviously. 10-inch version compared to my original Galaxy Tab, which was only 7 inches. See on top here, you have the volume rockers, the power button. You have the micro SD card slot, headphone jack. And what I really like about this, I might use this to, um, this is going to be really cool if I can use this as a universal remote. That's why this has this little sensor right here on the back. Besides the screen protector, you have the camera. Then you can see me. Hi there. And then you have a flash for your actual camera. Not many tablets actually have a flash, so that's good. On the front, of course, you got your front-facing camera. And then down here, you have your connector. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to be micro USB. Huh. Well, I guess joke's on me then. On the side you have your speakers here. And then of course down here you have your S Pen. And if I can take that out right now, I will show you exactly. There is the S Pen. Of course, I'm not going to play around with it just yet, but I'll get around to that soon. So, as far as the rest of the box goes, look inside right now. Comes with a charger, 
Actually, this looks like the same charger that my original Galaxy Tab has. It's a little bit different, though. Actually, no, it probably isn't. So, starting guide. I honestly think that this is the same cable that my other Galaxy Tab uses. Huh. Well, I guess it's kind of a good thing, even though I kind of wish it was micro USB, but what can you do? And I honestly don't have a single clue what this is for. Looks like some sort of ring. And I literally have no idea why that's there. Unless the box is empty, of course. So, what we'll do is we'll take off this screen protector on here. And we'll power this bad boy up. Alright, just pops right up. Galaxy Note 10.1. Looks really good for its resolution. Then again, I'm so used to my old one. It doesn't have my T-Mobile uh, sound when I started out my Galaxy S3. But, so, you have your starting screen. I'm sure that I'm going to have to connect everything to that, so. I'm going to set that all up in a little bit. So, that was just a basic un unboxing video. I mean, I'll set this all up afterward. So, that's everything that comes with the Galaxy Note 10.1. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more. This is going to be my primary tablet from now on. So, hopefully it'll be good, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So, hope you guys enjoyed this very basic unboxing video. And um, hopefully this tablet will be really good for me for future use when it comes to maybe even taking videos or watching YouTube videos or maybe even doing blogs or anything like that. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all later.